Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my in-flight skincare and makeup routine. It was highly requested from my how I pack one carry-on for all my trips video. And if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it below in the description box. Let's get started. This is my pamper routine for long haul flights, so feel free to adjust it to your liking. Once the flight has taken off and I'm settled into my seat, I usually start by getting my hair out of my face for my luxurious air spa self-service. I first take off my makeup with my all-time favorite cleanser from Neutrogena that I've put into a flyer-friendly container. You can either do this prior to boarding, that way you have more room to move around, or wash it off in the plain lavatory. Another option is to use a makeup cleanser wipe, but always be extra gentle when using these wipes. Don't pull on your skin too hard, you're going to reduce the elasticity in your skin over time. I usually like to wash my face, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the wipes instead so you guys can visualize my steps. Since I don't have any eyebrows, those will remain on my face as well as my lashes. My main concern is to get all the makeup off my skin to reduce the risk of breakouts. Flying takes such a toll on your skin with the congested recycled air. Next is dental care. Now you might want to save this step for after your meal, but if you're opting out of lunch or dinner, go ahead and proceed with floss and brushing your teeth. I like to pack a disposable toothbrush with a protective case so it stays nice and clean. Finish off with mouthwash. Here's when all the fun begins, skincare. You want to use a great hydrating eye cream for the long flight to keep your eyes moisturized and looking fresh when you wake up. Now I go in with a heavy moisturizer and I even double layer it to really give my skin the quench it needs. Trust me, you'll thank me later when you get off the plane and look super dewy. I then finish off with my absolute favorite tonic mist from Rodeal. I've tried so many and this continues to be my favorite. It gives you the most incredible glow. You're basically all set with skin if this is the route you want to take. Option number two is to put on a great hydrating sheet mask. But if you're not up for looking like a scary flyer, opt for a regular clear mask instead. I'm using the sleep in mask from Rodeal as well. Feel free to use your favorite. Next, grab a hydrating eye mask and plop those babies on. You really want that extra moisture 30,000 feet above the clouds. You'll look completely well rested and your eyes won't be puffy at all. Put on some lip balm and have some baby or antibacterial wipes within reach so you can clean your hands without bugging your neighbors, unless you're in an aisle seat, but I prefer window. So after clean hands, we're gonna get into hand care. Lotion them up with your favorite lotion and give your nails some love too with a great cuticle oil. Rub it in and start relaxing. Listen to your favorite songs, watch a movie, read a nice book, or my favorite activity, catch some Z's. Hopefully you got some sleep on the flight and about an hour before landing, I like to freshen up with my quick in-flight makeup routine. This is when I go to use the bathroom to wash my face with a gentle cleanser, brush my teeth, and head back to my seat to do a light layer of makeup. For my in-air makeup bag, I specifically pack products that are travel-friendly, non-liquids, and does not require any brushes to use. I start with eye cream and moisturizer, of course, and because I did the whole treatment for my skin during the flight, it feels very bouncy and hydrated. Next, I go in with foundation, and this is a really great foundation stick from Lancome that I'm completely obsessed with. It's very small, compact, easy to use, travel-friendly, and not a liquid, so you won't have the risk of it spilling everywhere. Just apply that on your face and use your fingers to blend. You can skip concealer if you don't have any dark circles, but I love the way it brightens up my under eye area, so I'm just gonna apply a light layer to look fully awake and fresh. Next is blush. I'm using a light baby pink to add some color to my cheeks and a swipe of pink gloss to my lips. By the way, this is the new Juicy Shaker from Lancome. If you haven't tried it yet, I suggest you go ASAP. It's so amazing and even tastes kind of good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I finish off with the hydrating tonic mist. This will absolutely give me the fresh, clean, and dewy look right off the plane. As you can see, the makeup is very minimal and quick. I try not to be too high maintenance, but you still gotta look presentable. So now you're looking fab and ready to take on your destination. I hope you guys enjoyed my in-flight skincare and makeup routine. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys like to do when you fly. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. No pressure though. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!